my name is Stacy Williams. I'm a nurse practitioner student with South University. I'm going to be doing a physical examination here on my patient, Brad Williams. I have already washed my hands, had the patient change into a gown, and empty his bladder. Hi Bradley, we're going to do your examination today. How are you? Good. Okay. So I've washed my hands, and we're going to go ahead and begin our assessment. Alrighty, so we've already taken the patient's vitals. He is currently 5 feet, 116 pounds. His BMI is 24, blood pressure is 108 over 70, heart rate 69, temperature 98.6, his O2 saturations are 99% on room air, and he has denied pain. Alright, we're going to go ahead and inspect his overall skin. I do not see any um, abnormalities here. It looks normal for his race. There is no cyanosis or pigmentation changes, as well as no lesions present. Okay. Moving forward, we're going to go ahead and palpate your scalp and your hair. His head does look symmetrical. Any tenderness, Bradley? No. No? Okay. I do not see any lumps, bumps, or abrasions here. Uh, he appears to be, uh, his hair also appears to be distributed uh, appropriately and normal. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and palpate uh, your sinuses here. I'm going to do your frontal sinuses. Any tenderness here? No. Okay. Any tenderness here? No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and feel your temporal artery. Okay. That feels normal. Go ahead and open your mouth. Wiggle your jaw side to side. Okay. There's no crepitation there and there's no popping. TMJ is not noted. Okay. I want you to wrinkle your forehead for me. Okay. Close your eyes against resistance. Okay. Puff your cheeks. Clench your teeth. Stick your tongue out. Nice midline tongue. Okay. So, cranial nerve number seven is intact. We are going to uh, clench your teeth again, and I am going to try to separate your jaw. Do not let me. Very good. All right. So, I'm going to clench your face in three different spots. I want you to tell me when you feel it. No. 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 Very good. Cranial nerve number five is intact. Okay. Um, we did do a snail and visual examination, and he does have 20-20 vision. That was determined. Moving forward, we're going to go ahead and do a confrontation eye exam. I want you to cover up this eye. Tell me when you see my fingers coming into your visual field. No. 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 Okay, cover the other eye. Same thing. No. 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 Okay, very good, Bradley. You can go ahead and put your hands down for me. Alrighty, so now we're going to do an extra ocular muscle examination using the six cardinal points. I want you to keep your face looking forward, only moving your eyes following the pen. Very good. No nystagmus is noted. His eyes did move symmetrically. And cranial nerves number three, four, and six are intact. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check out your sclera. I'm going to check out your pupils here. I'm also going to be checking your cornea, conjunctiva, and they all appear to be within normal limits. Okay, now we're going to check your eyes with my pen light. I want you to take a look at my nose, okay? All righty. Very good. Bradley's eyes uh, are three millimeters in size. And they did uh, react. Perla is within normal limits. Um, direct light response and consensual uh, and good accommodation was noted. I'm going to go ahead and use my ophthalmoscope here. Okay. I will check for your red corneal reflex. Okay. So your red reflex. I'm going to go ahead and have you look at my nose. Looking into your eyes here. I do see his... Uh, blood vessels, structures, and the red reflex is normal. Same for the right eye. Again, I do see the red reflex, blood vessels, and structures appear to be normal. All right, very good. Your eyes are within normal limits. We are going to check the uh, light reactive test. Again, his eyes were uh, accommodating, and he does have pearls, which is, which is in normal um, limits. All right. I want you to follow this pen coming towards your nose. Keep your face still. Perfect. All right. Very good. Cranial nerve number two is intact. Moving forward, I'm going to be checking out your ears. I'm going to go ahead and check out your left ear first. I'm going to take a look at it, and then I'm going to put the otoscope to your ear and take a look inside, okay? All right, Bradley. 
Your skin does look very nice. I do not see any abrasions. The ears are symmetrical. I do not see any abrasions on this ear. The uh, meatus also looks uh, normal. The canal, I do not see any uh, deformities at all. Um, do you have any tenderness here in your articles? No. How about your tragus? Any, ten no. any tenderness there? No? Bradley did pass a forced whisper test at five feet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look into your left ear, okay, with my otoscope. Looking inside Bradley's left ear, I do see the cone of light at 7 o'clock, and his tympanic membrane is pearly, shiny, and gray, no bulging, no retraction, uh, or fluid noted. Okay, then you'll look in your right ear here. I do see the cone of light is at 5 o'clock, and I do not see ab any abnormalities in Bradley's ears. His pinnac membrane is the same as the other side as well, with the normal limits, no fluid retraction, no bulging. Very good, Bradley. Alrighty, so uh, he did pass the Weber and Ryan test. There is no signs of conduction or sensory neural hearing loss noted. Alright, we're going to check out your nose, okay? Go ahead and have your nose straight. Beautiful, nice symmetrical nose. I do not see any abrasions or any abnormalities on the outside of his nose. We're going to check the patency. Of Bradley's nose, go ahead and blow, and blow. Bradley's nose is patent. I'm gonna have you take a smell of this and tell me what it is. Alcohol. Very good, cranial nerve number one is intact. All right, I'm gonna have you look up for me. I'm gonna look inside of your nose. Using the light, I do see that Bradley's nose is normal, smooth, moist, uh, with no lesions noted. Very good, and we're gonna go ahead and check those sinuses. I know I checked them earlier, but we're gonna check them again. Any tenderness here in your frontal? No. Maxillary, any tenderness here? No. Okay, very good. Alrighty, so I'm going to take a look inside of your mouth. Head up. Alrighty. Looking inside Bradley's mouth, I do have gloves on, and I have washed my hands. I'm using the tongue blade along with my light. I do not see any abnormalities. His buccal mucosa is moist and pink. Uh, open off. The roof of Bradley's mouth is also intact. The soft palate is also intact. Teeth and gums look healthy and normal. His tongue also appears to be healthy with no lesions. Say, ah. Uh, the tongue is midline, and I do see his tonsils. They are not swollen. There is no signs of infection noted here. Okay? Very good. Bradley's voice also appears to be normal. His swelling appears to be normal, and his uvula was midline. I want you to, uh, oh, we checked Bradley's gag reflex as well, and that is intact, so cranial nerve number nine is intact. We are going to check his neck, which appears to be symmetrical. There's no lumps, no pulsations noted here. His trachea is midline. I do not see any abnormalities. We're going to go ahead and check the range of motion on Bradley's neck. I want you to have your chin to your chest. Put your head back, straight back, up, side to side, okay? Very good. Bradley's got good range of motion, and there are no restrictions noted. I'm now going to palpate the lymph nodes uh, in your neck, okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and check his pre-oracle, posterior oracle, tonsillar, submandibular, submental, anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. Any tenderness in any of those spots? No. Very good. I'm going to have you swing your legs up to the side for me. Sitting straight up. Checking here. Take a swallow for me. Very good. Bradley's thyroid did move up and down, and that is within normal limits. All right. I am um, going to have you put your hand up for me, just this side, and we're going to check the lymph nodes underneath your arm, okay? All right. I'm checking your axillary. Central, lateral pectoralis, and subscapular lymph nodes. I do not feel any uh, enlargement or nodules noted. Did you have any tenderness in any of those spots? Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and check your uh, shoulders and your clavicles. They do appear to be intact here. No deviations noted. I'm going to palpate the sternoclavicular. No deviations noted there the acromioclavicular and subacromial. All righty, there is uh, any tenderness there? No. Okay, very good. 
We're going to go ahead and check the range of motion of your shoulders. I want you to raise your arms above your head, put them back down. Adduction and abduction are within normal limits. I want you to raise both of your arms in front of you. Very good. Flexion. Now, I want you to put one arm behind your back. Beautiful. Now the other arm. Very good. Hyperextension within normal limits. I want you to bend your elbows at 90 degrees for me. Move them back to your side. Move them back in. Very good. Alrighty. So his external and internal rotation is intact for his shoulders as well. We're going to be moving forward here with the uh, shoulder shrug test. I want you to shrug your shoulders and don't let me push you down. Alright. Very good. Cranial nerve number 9 is intact. Alright. We're now going to check um, your elbows. Okay. Any tenderness there? No. Okay. Your elbows are within normal limits. I do not see any deviations. And uh, the epitrochular lymph nodes are not palpable. There's no uh, signs of any, for, any form, formality issues. So we're going to go ahead and check your uh, elbows range of motions. I want you to flex your elbows up at uh, 90 degrees. Okay. Now put them straight out. Very good. That's extension and... Uh, flexion. Very good. Now I want you to put your hands down. Rotate them up. That's prone and supine. Very good. Alright, now I want to palpate your radial pulse here. After feeling for 15 seconds, they are normal, symmetrical, 2 plus. Moving up to your brachial. After feeling them for 15 seconds, they are also symmetrical, regular, and his heart rate is possibly 76 beats per minute. Alright, grab my fingers and squeeze at the same time. Very good. His strength is equal in both arms. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start with your chest. Looking at Bradley's chest as he's breathing, his AP diameter appears to be 1 to 2. I do not see any barrel chest here. And his uh, chest expansion is symmetrical and breathing is normal. I am going to auscultate his carotids. Deep breath in. Hold it. And breathe. Hold it. And breathe. There are no breweries heard. Okay, we're going to move forward here. I'm going to feel your carotid pulses with my hands now. After 15 seconds of feeling Bradley's carotid pulses, there are uh, no abnormalities. They are symmetrical. Again, about 76 heart rate without any thrill. I'm going to go ahead and occupate Bradley's heart valve. We are going to start with the aortic valve, which is located at the second right intercostal space. Right above the nipple line. Moving over to the left interclavicular, excuse me, the left intercostal space is Bradley's pulmonic valve. Moving straight down to the fourth intercostal space. On the left side is Brethus tricuspis. And to the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line is Bradley's mitral valve. After auscultating for 15 seconds, his rate is normal, 76. Rhythm appears to be symmetrical and normal as well. Now I'm going to palpate his PMI, which is also located at the fifth intercostal space. Let's straight up for me. which is right above the right nipple. Very good. Now we're going to occupy Bradley's low sounds. Deep breath in for me. And out. In. Out. Very good. Bronchial vesicular and vesicular sounds are noted. I do not hear any abnormality uh, lung sounds for Bradley. We're now going to um, palpate the posterior chest wall for tactile permanence. I'm going to go ahead and have you swing your legs up to the side for me, sir. Very good. Putting my hands on each side of his spine, can you say the numbers 99? 99. Tactile
bronchitis is noted and feels normal. Um, alrighty, so we are actually going to percuss six areas of his back. I'm going to have him like this so that you can see this. Putting my middle finger here. Alrighty, we have percussed Bradley's back in six different areas. We're now going to listen to Bradley from his back, listening to his lung sounds. Be press. Very good. Again, Bradley's lung sounds are clear and there are no adventitious lung sounds noted. We did hear egophony and uh, bronchoscopy sounds noted and his lungs are clear. That completes this portion of the uh, exam. Please join us for the second video.